All right, fellas. I was kind of messing around out here in the shop, uh, rubbing some parts and pieces off of this board, testing out the old uh, Miller Falls soldering iron I bought the other day, and uh, it works great, by the way. Great, works way better than the old weller that I had. But I figured since I was out doing this, I had a video back in the day about how I solder wires together and it got erased on the old hard drive. So I figured I'd go ahead, maybe zoom in here a little bit and uh, explain to you how I solder wires and why I solder wires this way. Okay, so first thing I do, you get your wire. Now, the way I splice wires together, it does take a little bit of wire. This is a little bit excessive, but I'm hoping it will be better for the illustration purposes of showing you how I do it. But you got to get a good twist on that wire. Then whenever you connect them, you make an X, fold both of those wires over, and then this wire you're going to run out on this side keeping it as tight as you can around that wire just going around it in a loop this side the same thing now this is what is commonly referred to as a linesman splice and when you pull on it it actually sinks in together and locks it in place. You're going to tear these wires, these little strands of wires, before you ever pull that apart. So a lot of times you can take this right here, instead of just butt connecting something, throw that splice in there, throw a piece of heat shrink over it with the goo in the middle, and heat shrink that, and uh, you'll be golden. That will last forever. Now we're just going to go ahead and use up some of this stuff that came with the weller. I'm pretty sure it's resin core. The thing about soldering is uh, you don't melt the solder on the tip and then glop it on and let it drip on. You heat the wire up and when you heat the wire up then you put the solder right on the wire. And what you always want to do first is tin the tip which means you hold her in until she gets hot, put a little solder on it. Put that right underneath the wire there. And once that wire gets hot, that solder will just start flowing in there. do is touch the wire. You can go through this right here and you can see strands of wire in that solder. That is how you know it is a good solder joint. You want to see the strands of wire going through it. You don't want globs of pus all over it. You want to be able to see the strands of wire. If you can't see the strands of wire, you've used too much solder. Now that is how I solder wires. Remember this is still going to be hot for a little bit. This is going to be hot for a long time. Okay, real quick a little bit about solder. There's um, all kinds of different solder out there. Uh, there's also flux. Uh, flux, just think of it as the lube of soldering wires. Makes everything kind of just real smooth and easy going. Uh, you don't have to worry about stresses and all that kind of stuff. Nothing tightening up relaxes everything, lets it flow, lets it go where it needs to go. So that's flux. This wire, this solder all came with that Weller kit, so I don't know exactly what it is. I'm guessing it's probably rosin core, which means it has the flux built right in the middle, and it's probably tin and maybe a little bit of uh, silver. But there's all kinds of these different, there's more 
lead free silver solder. Some of them work better with the soldering irons and some of them work better with fire. This here burns a matic. It is uh, made for flame. So now you probably can melt this with some uh, heat, but it's built for flame. Just good old electrical resin core solder, lead free, silver bearing. You get the old school stuff, the Dutch boy. Um, it actually is leaded solder. So this stuff right here is great. The best stuff in the world for wire. Now this right here, as you can tell, is for your keister. I don't know if this has lead in it or not, but uh, looks awful silver. Looks awful silver. And then of course there's the desoldering stuff. This right here, you get a pool of solder, you stick this braid in it and it'll suck it up. Give that liquid solder something to stick to instead of re-sticking to this. Put her down on there, put that braided wire on it and suck it right out. There's also this handy little guy. You get something in liquid state, you have her pressed in, stick that tip down there and it'll suck that solder right up in there. Make little bitty balls and stuff like that. So that's also an, another good way of doing that. Now I've tried the old bugger suckers for the kids, the big blue bulb syringes. They don't work. You need that plastic tip on there. And even this plastic tip, I've melted her quite a bit. Quick short little video, maybe. It might turn out to be a little long. I ramble and then ramble about all kinds of different shit. But anyway, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hard knocks, forge, gmail.com. Don't send me any panties. They never fit.